So we all know AI chatbots make mistakes, right? But imagine if they could actually learn from their slip-ups, just like us. Well, that's exactly what the new Reflection Llama 3.170B can do. Stick around to see how this AI is shaking up the game by reflecting on its own errors and correcting them. Yeah, you heard that right. With the launch of Reflection Llama 3.170B, this wild idea is now a reality. It might sound like just another AI chatbot trying to make its mark, but trust me, this one's got something unique up its sleeve. It can actually look back at its mistakes and fix them. I mean, that's something even the best AI out there still struggle with. Today, we're diving deep into what makes this chatbot different and why it's potentially a huge step forward for AI. Ready? Let's get into it. How Reflection 70B works. So on September 5th, Matt Schumer, CEO of HyperWrite AI, dropped the bomb, Reflection 70B. It was developed in partnership with Sahil Chaudhary, the brains behind Glaive AI. Together with Matt's ideas and Glaive AI's massive data set, they created what Schumer boldly calls the world's top open source model. Big claim, right? But how did Matt come up with this idea? Well, LLMs, or large language models, have been evolving to think more like humans. When we're solving a problem, let's say someone asks you, what's two plus three times four? Well, we think through it. We follow a mental chain like, okay, multiplication first, three times four is 12, then add two, so the answer is 14. That's basically how LLMs work with their own chain of thought. And this is how they've been getting better at tasks like writing, coding, and answering general knowledge questions. But there's always been this major gap between us and LLMs, reflection. When we make a mistake, we often go back and correct it, right? But LLMs, nah, if they mess up, they just roll with it. You've probably seen that yourself, an AI gives a wrong answer. And even when you nudge it in the right direction, it sometimes just doubles down on the mistake. Classic AI hallucination moment. Now imagine if AI could think like us, not just giving answers, but also reflecting on whether those answers were correct. Enter Reflection 70B. Matt wanted to create an AI that could analyze its own responses, spot mistakes, and fix them without you having to prompt it again and again. According to Schumer, Reflection 70B even beats top tier models like GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet on certain benchmarks. That's a bold claim, right? Check out this example. The AI forms a plan, reflects on it, and then before finalizing the answer, it reflects again to ensure it's correct. Talk about being thorough. Pretty wild, huh? But does it always work? Before you get too excited, no, Reflection 70B isn't perfect. It still makes mistakes, like every other AI. But, and here's the kicker, it can fix them. Take this example. It misspelled strawberry with two R's, a mistake you might have seen GPT or Meta AI make. But Reflection caught itself, paused, reflected, and boom, fixed it. Someone tried the same thing with GPT, and let's just say the results weren't as impressive. But hey, at least it got some of the steps right. Oh, and here's something that'll blow your mind. This model was created by just two people, Matt and Sahil. Talk about a dream team, huh? Claude or Llama? Now, you'd think the world would be totally sold on this groundbreaking model, right? Well, not quite. When Artificial Analysis, from a, a popular AI reviewer on X, first tested Reflection 70B, they were not impressed. They tweeted that they couldn't replicate the results Matt was bragging about, and even claimed that Meta's Llama 3.170B outperformed Reflection 70B in their tests. Ouch. Turns out, they were testing the wrong model. The Reflection team had uploaded the wrong version to Hugging Face. They promised to retest once the correct model was up, and when they did, things still weren't adding up. Apparently, Reflection 70B's public version wasn't living up to the hype of the private API that testers had access to. What's going on here? Why release a different, weaker version to the public? We're still waiting for answers, but fingers crossed, they'll clear it up soon. Reflection or Claude? If that wasn't enough drama, some people are speculating that Reflection 70B is just a rebranded Claude Sonnet 3.5 API. Yep, there's even a screenshot floating around, showing Reflection's response identical to Claude's. And to stir the pot further, another screenshot shows Reflection straight up referring to itself as Claude. Naturally, this sparked rumors. And what did the Reflection team do? They censored the word Claude from its responses. I mean, come on, you can't make this stuff up. One user actually tested the censorship by trying to trick the model into revealing its true identity. Guess what? Reflection still admitted it's Claude. Sneaky. Say what you want about this whole saga, but you've got to admit, it's pretty impressive for an AI to bypass its own censorship like that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Applications. Okay, so maybe Reflection 70B is Claude under a different name. But honestly, that doesn't change the fact that this reflection feature is a game changer. Back in 2023, an OpenAI published a paper on preventing AI hallucinations, which, let's face it, have been a huge issue for AI models. As Carl Koch, an OpenAI researcher, put it, detecting and mitigating a model's logical mistakes or hallucinations is a critical step toward building AGI, or artificial general intelligence. And with Reflection 70B, we're taking that step. This model could be revolutionary for coding, for example. Imagine. The AI writes an algorithm, runs it, realizes there's a bug, and fixes it all on its own. 
that could change everything. And get this, Matt Schumer has already teased an upgraded version, Reflection 405B. So yeah, this technology is only going to get better. Hopefully, by then, the whole Claude or Llama controversy will be sorted out too. What do you think about this new reflection feature in AI? Is it as cool as it sounds, or do you think there's more to the story? Let's chat in the comments below. And if you want to stay in the loop with all the latest AI news, make sure to check out our other videos, and give this one a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the notification bell if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.